imagine if you could complete uh, all your design tasks uh, at an even higher level of quality with no effort and in one fraction of the time. It's not just a dream, it's actually possible with AI and I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video. Hey, welcome back. Uh, this is my second video I'm doing about AI, which shows how nerdy I am. This time I'm going to show you how as a portrait designer you can use ChatGPT to create things like uh, this user persona and a long research summary. We are going to dive into these specific use cases and more but before that a big shout out to Superpeer for being such an amazing supporter of this channel. Superpeer is not only my sponsor but also my favorite tool for teaching design. I know how hard the people behind it are working towards making this tool even more versatile for their customers and they keep bringing in more features like you can now create a host and sell courses. I know some of you will definitely be interested in Super Peer, so I'll leave a link down below for you guys. And now let's go back to the video. I'm sure most of you are probably familiar with ChatGTP because it's all over the news. Everybody is talking about it because it's such a big step forward in the field of natural language processing. As today, ChatGPT is free to use. I've been using it for about two weeks now and I'm absolutely in love with it. As a non-native English speaker, this tool is a game changer as far as content creation is concerned. I use it for writing uh, emails, uh, newsletters, um, YouTube scripts, um, captions, and any sort of content writing formats. But now let's pause for a second to think about how we can use AI in product design. I had a few ideas that I want to show you, so let's take a look. Okay, let's see if we can create a user persona today. So can you create um, a user persona for uh, Pinterest? Samantha is a creative and visually minded individual who enjoys experimenting with different design styles. So she is constantly seeking inspiration for her work and blah, blah, blah. She frequently uses the platform uh, to plan for her home deco and events. She enjoys browsing through different categories. Okay, so overall, I think we have a good uh, user persona and it took literally no time uh, to put together. One thing is missing is um, Samantha's goals, um, challenges, uh, motivations. I'm not sure it's making this user persona uh, really useful. But now let's challenge uh, the algorithm. Can you create um, free user personas for um, uh, SaaS? company that specialize in uh, social media. It must include user goals, uh, motivations uh, and uh, challenges. Let me read through quickly. So goals, uh, growing the number of followers and engagement on social media platforms, motivation, advancing in his career and challenges, keeping up with a high volume of content needed. Okay, so I think we finally have our user personas. You just need to input um, the goals, motivation, challenges, or whatever you want to add. Um, and now I'm really happy. I think uh, these are perfect. Next, uh, I want to test uh, chat uh, GPT's ability to write short um, pieces of text, uh, such as uh, success, uh, error messages, uh, call to actions, and uh, other forms of microcopy. So write a um, word message to ask the user to confirm they want to delete an image something like that this came out of blue so let's see what it says are you sure you want to delete this image this action cannot be undone press ok to confirm and cancel to return okay so what i see here is um, a pop-up with this title 
are you sure you want to delete the image and maybe like a, a text underneath and uh, two buttons um, with um, OK and uh, cancel to return. And this is great. Um, it's also giving me a visual indication, which I really appreciate. But now, let, what can we try? Uh, let's see if we can uh, improve a call to action. So, um, other ways to say um, register today on a call to action button. Pretty clear, pretty simple. Um, but I do like that. We have lots of examples now. I think this tool is doing a really good job with writing microcopy and I can see how useful it can be for those teams that maybe don't have a content designer uh, or even like independent designers that want to write good copy on their own. If you're like most people, myself included, summarizing research insights can take quite a bit, but what if we dump all the messy information we have accumulated during user testing into chat GPT and see what happens? Or even better, what if we turn our recorded sessions into text format and then ask AI to write a summary for us? Sounds too good to be true. I wasn't sure how to test this until I came across uh, this YouTube video which showcases a usability testing session of a digital product. Big shout out to Playbook UX for making this video. So what I did was uh, I downloaded this Chrome extension called Glasps, Glasps, Glasp, which basically turns YouTube videos into text. Then I simply asked ChatGPT to write a summary this is the result and it's impressive. I mean, look at that. It's so cool. So far we've talked about ChatGPT's ability to write good copy, but what if we could create visuals for us? Now, this tool comes with limitations uh, and one of them is actually the creation of images. However, we can ask ChatGPTs uh, to describe visual content uh, such as photos, infographics, illustrations um, and so on. This is gonna be our last experiment today. I had to film this tutorial twice uh, because uh, there were some problems uh, with the audio and video quality. So it's... Um, it's nearly 7 p.m. and I'm still here. I've been filming all day. I'm really tired, so apologize if I <laughs> if I'm rambling. But uh, okay, let's let's focus on this last task. Now I want to ask uh, the tool to help me find a color palette, font, and visual inspiration for uh, my hypothetical brand. So how can we do that? Can you help me find a um, good color scheme, uh, font and uh, um, illustration type for uh, um, vegan uh, um, food delivery app? This is awesome. Now I can basically jump straight into Figma and create a, a UI kit using uh, these uh, suggestions. So the color palette is gonna be a mix of green, brown, and maybe orange. The font is clean, like Open Sans and Lato, which I already like. And then illustrations that uh, fresh product, uh, leafy greens and natural elements, that's cool as well. And overall the key is to create a sim simple and visually pleasing design that evokes the feeling of fresh, healthy and natural food. As you can see, there are endless ways for designers to incorporate AI tools into their creative process. Today we learn how to use GPT to create personas, write microcopy, write research summaries and generate visual design inspirations as well. Feel free to share your thoughts and experience with using AI in the comments section and let me know if you want to see more videos on this topic. I really love to create more content about um, AI and maybe VR for product designers in the upcoming months if that's something uh, you're interested in. Check out one of these videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Ciao!